take a sip too. <laughs> In love. I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Going on a date. Finish it. Woo! I'm happy with that. This skirt is amazing. <laughs> Eggs Benny. Go in the no, toilet. I don't Go in the toilet. That's going on YouTube. That's Another outfit of the week, one of my favorite videos to do. I'm really excited for this one. I think it should be a lot of fun and lots of different like little fun summary things happening. Today's Wednesday, Wednesday evening, and I'm going out for a very special dinner for Miss Ruby, aka daughter of a hoarder. It's her birthday this week. She's having a bunch of friends down at Rita's. It's like a little restaurant in Soho. She's hired out the back garden. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be an expensive meal. So I really hope I like the food because I think I'm not a picky eater. I think there's just certain things which I really don't like. And as a non-meat eater, and it's like a veggie set menu, it's like veggie and meat set menu, I'm a little bit scared because I feel like it's always filled with the things that I just don't like but hey we'll give it a go it's all in the name of Miss Ruby this is my outfit tonight which I'm obsessed with I love it I love the whole look I feel like it's very fun although it's all black um my mum was outraged that I was wearing this dress out on the streets so you know this stunning dress is from Realization Par they just sent it to me it'll be in my small brands haul I've got on my brand new boots these came today they're from Diemble, I think is how you say it. I'm decked out in silver jewelry. Everything is from Pilgrim. I'm obsessed. I mean, everything on my arms. I'm obsessed with Pilgrim right now. Again, <laughs> feature them in my small brown tool. Gone for my classic rings. And then this new incredible necklace that I got gifted from Taurus Souvenirs. I'm doing some work with them over on Instagram and this was one of the pieces. And I can't remember the name of the brand of this necklace from the top of my head, but I'll put it on screen. And it's so cool. It's like gold and silver hearts. Again, in my small brand tool, if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? And my earrings are kind of fun. I've gone for my spike earrings. I've got these from Pilgrim, the safety pin ones. All of these little ones are from PD Paula. Got in the safety pin here again and I'm just loving it. Like I'm just, I feel good. I feel good. Cause the dress is a little bit see-through and men exist. I'm gonna wear a long coat to protect myself. Okay, I can't actually button the rest of them which is kind of annoying but I guess I'm going out like this tonight. Fun. This is kind of giving after work, right? I feel like this is better than a mini bag because this is giving like, I just came out from work. Oh, you know what guys? Being truthful, I really want to go on a date. I haven't been on a date in a while and I feel like my wardrobe has leveled up so much since I last went on a date. That I just feel like my date clothes can just be so much better now and I feel like I just have so many pieces where I'm like, oh, I want to wear that one day. I want to go on a real date. I don't want to sit in a pub with a boy in jeans and a hoodie. I want to go on a real date. I want to go to a bar or out for dinner. I want to be treated right and I'm in the mood for it. I'm getting dressed tonight. I was like, oh my God. Where is my king? Like, where is my king so I can wear this dress on a date with somebody? I can't take myself seriously right now. You know what's giving? I've gone to like a World War II museum and I've tried on like a jacket. Actually, this is a real World War jacket, so. Yeah. 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 This is exactly yeah. Yeah. She thought it was like, all the girls keep saying, I thought it was like a Bolero. <laughs> Yeah, this is Selgi. What is going on? She said, she said, is it Eggs Benny? So here we have a little bit of hollandaise sauce and a poached egg underneath. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Thank you for it! Everybody should grab one. Oh, I can God. smell it. Let I me pass them like down. <laughs> I just want to say thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks for paying 65,000. It was great. Oh. Oh. We don't need to talk about that. We need to talk about that. Love you all. Yay. 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 I'm gonna pass the phone to someone that's a bitch. That's hot. Alright, go on. 
Oh, oh. Finish it. Massive. You didn't even finish it? It's yeah. a shot, not a tea. <laughs> You're sipping it like it's a tea. We're having a having a shot out of the new shot glasses I got Ruby for her birthday. Cheers, babe. Cheers. It's Thursday and I thought I would switch up and actually work in my living room today as I keep working in bed and it's so bad. And this is my like work from home outfit. I'm going out to the pub tonight so we'll have a better outfit but this is generally what I live in. These trackies from Enrage. Then my little nippy studios baby tee again. Another great stable like it's such a simple outfit but just so comfy. And I got this necklace from a charity shop last week and I'm really into it. I just think it's really cute. And I'm just trying to be productive working from home today. And the thing that's been really helping me with my productivity is Magic Mind and I'm actually down to my last one which is really sad because it's been the one thing that has been getting me through this big editing backlog that I've got. You guys know I've spoken about it in a couple of videos a few videos ago about how much editing I have to do and it's all just been really crazy in the past few weeks. This came at the perfect time. I've also known about Magic Mind for like a year now and I've been really intrigued to see if they work. What do they taste like? Does it actually do anything for your productivity levels? And as I work from home most of the time and I'm self-employed, it's so hard to focus when I'm I'm often just working straight on my laptop on emails and editing like back-to-back -back work and normally I get so distracted I'm always scrolling and I get really stressed really easily it's something I've always struggled with growing up when I've had to meet deadlines and things and I can honestly say I've been using this for the past 15 days straight I've noticed such a difference in my productivity levels my stress levels Magic Mind are based in California and they are the world's first productivity shot and they are designed for a long-term boost in energy cognition and stress management and you start to feel the effects about five days in of like regular use. You can take your Magic Mind alongside caffeine. I find it the best when I have it in the morning. And I want to tell you what's actually in a Magic Mind shop. First we have L-Athinanine which is nature's time release caffeine. This can be found in matcha and it can help increase focus and attention. It also has Bacopia monieri which is a natural nootropic which helps with procrastination and impulsivity. Generally I've never tasted a green looking juice that tastes this good. If this came in full bottle sizes, I would happily drink that every day. I really, really like this taste. And I think if these tasted bad, I would find it way harder to actually try and force myself to drink these, um, but they taste really good. So it's really easy to implement them into my routine. Like I said, I've definitely seen results with drinking Magic Mind. My productivity is better. My stress levels are better. Magic Mind also offers 60 day money back guarantee if you're not happy with the product. So if you wanna give Magic Mind a try and see the benefits, it can add to your productivity and daily routine you can use my code suzy20 for 56 percent off your first subscription box the link will be in the description and in the comments for you to go check out their website thank you so much magic mind okay it's the evening i'm getting ready for the pub yes it's a pub in soho so i feel like this is acceptable but it is extra like it is extra but it's a really 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 nice outfit that i literally just made and i just spent probably about 25 minutes trying to pick an outfit trying on a bunch of things nothing was working i could resort to something a little bit more simple but we're just gonna go with this and i'm gonna bring like a track jacket to try and like calm it down a little bit but I love this outfit and I want to wear it again for a day like I think it's a very day outfit underneath I have my new organic basics vest top I really wanted to wear new pieces so I'm really happy that I'm wearing this I love it it's the comfiest thing and then over is my intimacy me top and I was putting it on backwards and I just thought you know what I'm gonna leave it backwards because <laughs> I actually think the stitching like it just adds something this necklace is insane it's from moira x metal and i got it from taurus souvenirs obsessed with it and it only came a couple of days ago it's in my small browns haul i did actually change the thread it came on like this ribbon but i didn't want it because it was too bright for the outfit so this is like a missouri train uh, chain but like ah, just, i love it i love it we have like the double layered white this skirt is amazing it's from shop Conic Cone Park, I think is how you say it. And I layered it over this charity shop, like classic raw hem white prairie skirt. And I just think together they look really nice. And I'm just like so in love with this outfit. And then I've gone for my new boots from DM Play. Then to match the black, I've gone for my favorite bag ever, my All Saints bag. I found this at a charity shop. It's just my go-to, especially if I have like a jacket or something, you can just put it in there. Then accessories, I've topped off my spike earrings. These are just my go-to's when I want to wear a fun earring, but like it's not too much. And I've got in my good squish scrunchie. Need I say more? Apparently you're not meant to wash it, you're meant to dab it. Yeah. What? Dab it? 
You just have a, no, 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 no. a temporary yeah. illness. It's a temporary. I'm gonna lose my sh. I think so. I have a great plan for them. Unless your plan involves, involves guys that are smashable. I don't, want to I don't know what they look like. Okay, oh, that's like. You met them. Why? There is yeah. always time for ice cream. Tell me why I have actual tears of building in my eyes watching clips of people at Taylor Swift concerts. Like, actually, what is wrong with me? I actually think I've become a Swifty in like a matter of a day. I don't, really don't know how. I've always respected Taylor Swift and liked a couple songs. And then I went on holiday with my girls from school. Two of them are like massive Taylor Swift fans and they were playing some of her music. The lyrics are really speaking to me. Like, why are these so good? And then when I was really hungover the day I got back from my festival and I was like dying in bed, I was watching her like the Miss Americana documentary on Netflix and it was so good. And I cried watching it and it just really made me respect her like even more than I already did. And then since then, like literally every minute I've been in my room just like doing stuff full Taylor Swift blasting like every single song and I've been loving it I've been loving it I was watching somebody that I watch on YouTube's like concert vlog and it just really hit me and I was just like this is too much right I need to like get out of bed anyway I thought I would share this as part of the Alps of the week because I get so many requests about it I'm gonna be making the art like the last bit of art to go in my room I spoke about this in my second moving vlog I do like these collages right every time I move and I go to a new house I try and do like a new collage to fit the space and I haven't done one here yet I haven't had a moment and I finally have a moment and I wanted to share it with you because I get so many requests this is the big fat mirror mirror the big fat frame that I'm gonna be using she's a massive frame she's the same frame as that one so she's big this is my art folder she's really big I did art at uni and ever since like sixth form I just collect art that either I've made friends have made newspaper inserts like anything like that and I always put it in here and I use them for collages here are the things I know I want to put in this one. The main thing being this, like when I got this, I was like, I have to make art for that wall because I need this art. It's a tissue paper from Realization Pa that the dresses that they sent me came in. They also gave me fortune cookies with my order and I just absolutely love the wrapper. So I really wanted it in there. This. I love Italy. This is like the same as that. It's the tag that one of the dresses came with and I just thought it was really nice. That's my print. I really want to put that in there. And then this is so random. This is actually the thing that your fries come in at Bill's, the restaurant. I just really, really like the design. I thought it was really cool. This tag I made when I did a pop-up and I have two of the fortune cookie things from realization part that I just thought would be fun in there they're the things I'm definitely gonna layer with it but I obviously need something for the background okay contenders this is my friend Dylan's print I really love the colors in that always have I really love this <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is the thing that was above my bed. I really want to include her. I think I might make this the background. And maybe because of this, we go for like a pink and cream theme. My friend Paige's brand yellow page. This is a big sticker from their like launch or their like party, birthday party thing. This is a collage I made for one of the frames and I just like left it connected. I feel like we're really gonna go for a pink theme. So I'm thinking, do we add this? And you know what? I will always love this thing that I made. This like Daedalus and Icarus book that I made. <laughs> Yeah, let's add that in. I love these note cards from this really cool small brand or like concept store called Hatto Store. My cat, I really, a bit like, but let's do something about it. My radiator is magnetic, so I might actually put that on there. First with the collages, I start to just see the general vibe of things, how they work together, get a bit of like a brief idea before I start sticking things down. Then I'll actually start attaching things from the bottom up. I've now started to use tape to secure down some of the edges as things do tend to like slip down in the frame. I'm happy with that. Honestly, I feel like with these frames, I kind of like to just put things and then if they move around like this, like when you're putting it, does that happen? I don't really care. Um, and if things shift over time, if they like fall and stuff, I'm happy with that. This is a face of somebody who is instantly already regretting their decision to go out tonight. 
I said I wasn't gonna go out because I'm going to a day festival tomorrow and I really just want to be fresh and ready for it. I'm going to field day so I just don't want to be hungover and I'm so bad on a hangover. I remember I was literally out last night with the girls with Gloria and Yasmin and I was literally thinking I want to go clubbing again in London soon. I want to dance more like I just miss dancing. I think it's coming back from the festival. I was instantly like I want to go to another festival right now. Like I just love festivals so much and I'm obviously going to a day festival tomorrow and i just felt like i really wanted to like pack loads of fun dancey things in and i just felt like tonight's one of those nights okay this is what i've gone for my american apparel lace bodysuit that i found off vintage i got this little parade bralette under it's so comfy my score is from peachy den the new kylie one i'm obsessed with this like asymmetric like such a good little clubbing okay i'm not kidding when i say what about a shirt is it kind of cool with like the black bag? Because it's so warm outside, I just feel like I'm not gonna want anything more than this. You know what, maybe we'll just go for it. We try something new, we're gonna wear this. It's vintage diesel, I got it from Cal. I'm gonna add these bracelets from Pilgrim. I'm gonna wear my ratty, ratty trainers that were from the festival I just got back from. You can probably see mud. So this is- That's amazing. Pandan cake. Yeah, pandan. Yeah. What is the flavor? It's like my favorite cake. Honestly, I wish I could. Mm. So good. And like the like thing in the, it's so good. the like filling thing is good it's too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 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 you better not spill that drink or go on peachy dead scurvy, bitch. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> There is a white male with no hair sitting over there and Gloria goes, is that Adam Levine? <laughs> like, yeah, Gloria, yeah, it is. <laughs> day has finally come it's field day i'm so excited i'm actually not even that hungover i haven't eaten anything yet my voice is actually really croaky i've just been downing my lucasade sport and then i need to go grab something to eat i'm wearing my moira x mel necklace again with the chain from missouri one of my favorite vintage corsets this is from sophia and found i absolutely love it it's just literally like perfect literally perfect and i've done my hair in these little pigtails i don't know if i'm gonna keep it honestly my hair game is never strong i feel like there's not much you can do with short hair anyway and then i've got my favorite belt from a spirit it's vintage found at a car boot my peachy den school again guys it's so good my bag is my peachy den bag i love peachy den but this bag is so annoying guys it's so annoying the straps just don't make sense they're like unnecessarily long and i think they work if you just play around with them loads um um, I basically need to like untie this knot and like redo it because I wear it and one of them is loose and I'm not about I'm not about that life so I need to change it but I just love this bag I honestly feel like it goes with so much I just need to sort that out I also wonder if it's gonna hurt my shoulder because of the string sometimes it just digs in a bit then for my layer it's gonna be hot today and I'm really in the whole vibe of using like a t-shirt or a shirt as a layer and I tried on the shirt I was wearing last night but it just didn't flow and I'm wondering what about my favorite little baggy long sleeve I forgot how off the shoulder this is this over it cute and then for shoes I didn't want to wear these because I didn't want to mess them up, but I just feel like it's not going to be grimy. They're my new Salomons, and I'm in love with them. I can't believe <laughs> I'm going on a date and I'm really nervous. I'm nervous. Why? This jacket looks really bad. I'm definitely going to be late. I'm going on a date with a boy from Hinge, a first date. We've been trying to do this date for weeks, so it feels more pressurizing for the fact that it's actually happening. Like, I'm so 
I've not gone on a date since April. So I feel like a fish out of water. And the last date I went on, I didn't really care about the guy that much. Sorry. Sorry to them if you're watching this. Like it, it wasn't giving to me. I was literally like, I'm here to be in a company of a male. Like it really wasn't that deep. But this one, I actually think he's very attractive and we have a good vibe on text. <laughs> I'm really intrigued. I'm really intrigued and I'm terrified. And I'm wearing a new outfit, which always like makes me feel nervous. If I was wearing my little low rise baggy jeans, I wouldn't care as much. Like that's always what I wear to dates and I always feel comfortable wearing that. But I went to up the ante today. He's taking me to a wine bar and he's like booked it. I don't know what it is. We're just meeting nearby and I'm really, really nervous because girl, I don't like wine. <laughs> so I really hope they do stuff other than wine. Anyway, obviously I'm wearing the Peachy Dan Kylie two-piece, the little asymmetric skirt, and the Kylie top, which I think is oh so good. And I don't know what he's gonna be wearing, but I, I I bet you he's gonna be wearing a shirt. I feel like he's actually gonna be wearing a shirt. He wears a lot of like utility shirts, and I feel like oh, I, he literally wears one. There's like a repeating one I keep seeing. This is me psychoanalyzing. Anyway, I'm wearing my boots, my new boots from Diemble. I was wearing a belt, and the belt was too much. If I was going up the girls, the belt would come with me. The belt was giving like, whoa calm down he's also not i don't really think he's a fashion boy yeah he's not a fashion boy so i feel like you don't need to do the extra wave like he's not really gonna care all he's gonna see is a dress even though it's not a dress but you know what i mean then i've got my marlon bacchus necklace this is from taurus souvenirs and my spike earrings i put on all my rings haven't worn rings in weeks and i just thought actually i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you the truth i was on tiktok last night my tiktok for you page like is too obsessed with relationships men men being evil how to control men like just like a lot of men energy coming from the point of view females and somebody was saying a guy like always says how they really re like remember a girl that wears a lot of jewelry or like respect like there was something about going on dates and wearing jewelry <laughs> that's why i'm wearing all the rings <laughs> jacket i'm gonna do the vivian westwood one i'm gonna button this baby up but actually i want to do a video for my private story so i'm not gonna put this up just yet gotta show the girls you know i'm gonna be late sorry i was about to say his name his name was so many memes attached to that name that's my hint and every time i think of him that's like i think about him a lot i really don't every time i think of him i think of these memes and i just feel like after a few drinks it's gonna come out and recently i've just been too loose lips with my memes and i forget who i'm around like the other day i was with some normal regular guy and we're at this party and he was saying something funny and like we're all really out of it and i just went purr to what he said and his reaction like if something just hit me that not everyone knows what purr means <laughs> i hope i'm not saying purr on the date purr 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 this outfit purr okay i'm getting ready i'm gonna be late but like what was that? Is that thunder? No, girl, I'm about to... No, that actually could be thunder. I'm about to pack my brolly. I feel like these videos expose myself to me, like me realizing that I'm I'm a late bitch. <laughs> Let's try and walk on that. I don't know about this. It goes, but I'm not, it's not hitting. I think I want an off the shoulder jumper. I think that's what I want. And I'm trying to DIY a couple hoodies that I've got into off the shoulder, but I haven't done it yet. And Part of me is like, do it now, do it right now, but then it says no. <laughs> no! This is kind of off the shoulder. So it's Saturday, crazy weekend incoming. I went this morning to my friend's studio, he's a fashion designer. I'll put this out on screen, Yaku. And I went to do like some fittings for some upcoming stuff for him, which was really exciting. And then now I'm going to meet some uni friends at the Bank of Friendship, a pub. Then I'm gonna go and meet some other friends. I think I'm gonna meet Bailey, Matilda, maybe Tia. And we're gonna go out with these new friends of mine who I met on a work sourcing trip. I don't know if I ever really spoke about this on the channel before. When I went sourcing for a brand I used to work at, we met some Belgian boys at like the vintage warehouse. I became friends with them and one of them is here in London for carnival. So I think I'm gonna meet him and his friends later. I don't really know what's gonna happen. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. And then tomorrow's carnival. It's the first day of Notting Hill Carnival. Gonna go with some friends. I'm just kind of like I CBA. But then I think I'm gonna meet my date from the other night. Guys, the way I wish I could spill so much tea. The way I wish I could put every single one of you on my close friends' private story. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let me just say this. I had. You know, I went on my date on Wednesday. The last time I spoke to you, we had a two-day date. It just, it continued, like we didn't leave each other. I didn't leave his house, like it just happened. Like, 
Wednesday till Friday, we spend nearly 48 hours together as insane. Um, anyway, then on Monday, I'm going back to All Points East, but I'll talk about that at another point, because that's a whole other thing. But this weekend slash the rest of this video is going to be very jam-packed and very fun. So I'm going to a pub, but I just want to put in more effort. Like, I want to wear... I just have so many nice pieces, and I just filmed a haul the other day. So, you know, when... It's just, like, fresh in my brain. I'm like, I just need to wear new stuff. So I'm wearing my Veils of Circus skirt that I got from Ulta store. I love this skirt. When I last wore it out, I wore it with a version of this, which is from Uniqlo, this little cami. And it's just like, it's easy. It's like an easy winner, right? So I'm gonna go for this. I know it's not very pubby. That's why I'm thinking like a hoodie will help like chill it down. And I've got my Moira X Mel necklace from Taurus Souvenirs. Cause I feel like it's just a simple, it's like simple from afar. Oh, she's wearing a necklace, but then you get close and you're like, what's going on? What's going on? Then I'm wearing my favorite shoes right now, my Salomons and my new Realization Par socks. Let me see if you can see them. They're just really cute little black socks and they have the logo on them. And I just think they're so cute. I was thinking maybe I should wear my Racer Worldwide knit because it's khaki, it's got bits of black in it. And then my favorite bag at the moment is my All Saints bag that I got from Charity Shop. I feel like it's been featured in so many outfits of the week since I got it. I love this bag so much. I wish it was a little bit longer where I could wear it more comfortably comfortably as a crossbody because I basically want to get crossbodies like this. It's just perfect, it fits so much in it. We got to here and was like, oh, I've run out of space on the camera. <laughs> Sunday I was in such a rush I forgot to film my outfit but I went to Notting Hill Carnival. This is the only clip that I got. Do you, you want a uh, landscape girl? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and on Monday Pilgrim Jewelry took me to All Points East which is really fun. So these are the clips I got from that. I feel so rough. <laughs> I feel dead. I can't walk. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Mm. Oh, for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. We love that. Oh, we love women in STEM. <laughs> I'm a businesswoman at heart. It's called being an entrepreneur. <laughs> right there, right there. I feel yeah. so sunstroke queen Fit check. I have it. Thank you. Do it in the toilet. Let's go in the toilet, bitch. Go in the no, toilet. Go in the toilet. I'm bullying her into the toilet. Go in the toilet. You weirdo. Tell me your outfit so then. It's vintage Nike from Past Trash. School is peachy. It's the Kylie skirt, bitch. Like, I'm wearing her too. Like, boots, boots are Mew Mew. Yeah, Mew Mew. Let's go with that. Jewelry's um, Pilgrim, obviously. Decked out in Pilgrim. Okay, yeah. so what I'm wearing is. Cheetah. Sorry, I would like to say what I'm wearing. I would like to say what I'm wearing. Cool. Jennifer. Oh, hi guys. So you caught me. I'm here. Just as you're here. We're here together, but I'm in my outfit that I got from the charity shop yesterday. And you'll never guess where it's from, and I'm telling you. And I'm drinking a margarita, which means you take a sip too. I was actually saying that to the viewers, but. <laughs> I know. If I have my bottle, I would just. I know. 
And don't forget, if you want to check out Magic Mind and see the benefits it can add to your productivity and daily routine, you can use my code SUSIE20, which will get you 56% off your first subscription. Link in the description.